close. On a pitch black night off the coast of California, newly leaked video allegedly shows one of the U.S. Navy's stealth ships tracking an unknown object in the sky. And after a few minutes, it splashed. It splashed. Mark Marion Range. The 2019 footage obtained by filmmaker Jeremy Corbell, who last month released another video of an upside down pyramid UFO hovering above a Navy destroyer. This is part of a much larger series of events that we're going to be learning about. The Pentagon confirming the video was taken by Navy personnel. The image is now being reviewed by a government task force set to brief Congress next month on what they call unidentified aerial phenomenon. This weekend, 60 Minutes speaking to fighter pilots who reported seeing unidentified flying objects. Every day. Every day for at least a couple years. Former Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense for Intelligence Chris Mellon says sensor technology has improved dramatically over the years, but pilots have reported seeing some of the same things for decades. Are there any similarities between these recent incidents and incidents that go back as far as half a century? Uh, there seems to be a lot of continuity there. He says one of the biggest problems is the stigma that comes with talking about UFOs, something a Navy lieutenant commander also told CBS she struggled with after she and three others saw a 40-foot flying object disappear in 2004. You know, I think that over beers we've sort of said, hey man, if I saw this solo, I don't know that I would have come back and said anything because it sounds so crazy when I say it. Or how would you describe this, this thing that we can't explain? What we're seeing are a number of distinct but different things. Sometimes we're seeing a 50-foot object that can travel at hypersonic speeds and seemingly go into orbit or come down from you know, altitudes uh, above potentially 100,000 feet. Do you think that we will see a release from the government that shows something conclusively? There is more that could be shared will be shared with Congress for certain. I don't see that coming to the public soon. And that is the problem. All we're really seeing are these little glimpses of leaked videos, while things like the original high-definition footage, the radar data, the sonar data, that hasn't been released because most of it's classified. And there could be some very worldly explanations. It could be a Russian or Chinese drones, a, a top-secret U.S. project. But at this point, it's going to be up to Congress to get to the bottom of this whole mystery. Guys? All right, Gotti Schwartz. Gotti, thank you for that. Black triangular UFOs have been sighted since the late 1990s. The US owns them, not Russia or China. Greetings world. We are the Aegis Alliance. Recent news media coverage has been trying to say that recent sightings of black triangular UFOs are possibly Russian or Chinese technology. But make no mistake, such black triangular UFOs have been spotted since the late 1990s, former 4600 Second AISS agent, Kyle James Lee, has said these spacecraft are believed to be owned by the US government, reverse engineered from extraterrestrial spacecraft and above top secret black projects. Former US President Bill Clinton once said, There is a secret government inside the government and I don't control it. This would explain why the Pentagon is the only government agency that cannot pass an independent audit. There have been calls by Congress for the Pentagon to be audited, but the efforts have always failed. Money that is unaccounted for has been flowing into these government black projects for many years. Rest assured that such black triangular UFOs have been sighted for decades, and they are not the work of Russians or the Chinese. The US government owns these spacecraft and has since at least the late 1990s. Aegis, in the Aegis Alliance, stands for the activists alliance for the exposure of government intelligence and secrets we do not claim to be a leader of the legion the aegis alliance has anonymous allies 